All right. Whew. My throat's a little sore now. I just went over my last year of streaming, my one year anniversary, and went over all my previous progress and stuff, and I talked a whole lot. Now we're going to play some Outer Worlds. That's some beautiful music. I like the title screen music. Ooh, almost 23 hours since the game. I think maybe I shouldn't be checking every little corner out in the wilderness on this planet. It takes too much time. Not that I'm going to rush through to the end, but... It gets a little obnoxious. You gotta check every behind every rock. I think that's what was getting on my nerves yesterday. Why is this person like this? What quest am I over? I have several quests here. I need to speak with Naoka, which we saw a little bit yesterday, but I didn't speak to her. <clears throat> uh, are we in Fallbrook? Is this where I am? No, we're in Stellar Bay. Maybe this is Fallbrook or something. <clears throat> we do have a quest to uh, check for weapons at Fallbrook uh, terminals. Mm. So I need to talk to... I need to talk to an agent here for L Lilia and then go to Fallbrook and turn it in there. I have to get a casserole and sweet cakes. Okay, one of them's here in Stellar and the other one's outside. And then I also need to track down Reginald. He's in Fallbrook. So a lot of this is in Fallbrook. I do have a few things here in... Stellar Bay, though. What do you want? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little brother back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Well, we didn't see him yet. <clears throat> we really only covered the west, uh, western region of uh, Monarch. So we probably got a lot of quests done yesterday, but we didn't do anything on the eastern side, which is probably what a lot of these other quests want us to do. Calm down, take a deep breath, and tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. I'll do it. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. So you broke a I promise. If he's run away. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders with toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. So oh, she's a helicopter parent. The youngster he was probably too smothered. Like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure, says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him, a raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. All I'm saying is between choosing his mama and a raptodon the dude chose a raptodon <laughs> i think that says enough hmm where would he have gone he's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out i begged sanjar to put a stop to them but did he no and now i just know my boys run off to amber heights that is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. Amber Heights. Yeah, we need to go there. We didn't go there yet. Where is Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse. The thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. 
or that he never made it. Scraps could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the road as we speak. Or, or maybe marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Yeah, she's a little obnoxious. Um, I did meet the Iconoclasts, and I did go southwest, but I don't remember going into Amber Heights. So I guess we'll have to return there. What were you saying about the Iconoclasts? Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who'll listen. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them <laughs> luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. You punch them in the mouth or else. All right. She's funny. She doesn't know it, but she's funny. Truth be told, other than maybe ammo, I do not need any more loot. <laughs> I do not. I'm always full up on loot in this game. Okay, that's you. Anybody else named? How about you? Move along. What? Man, I want to shoot everybody in this game. Alright, let's see what we got here. Wait, am I... F Hard to see which way I'm facing. Okay, so that leads further along. Should probably go this way, though. Right? And then wrap back around this way, maybe. So there's also this corner over here that I don't think I looked at. That is not the corner I was trying to check out. Maybe I did. I think it was that place I walked over here. Back there. Alright, so what is this big building? This big hunk of change right here. MSI headquarters, maybe? Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Okay. <clears throat> MSI keeps the fishery running and the walls intact. If you leave town, watch out for iconoclasts. They're almost as bad as the raps. So this is essentially like security town, almost. Watch out for iconoclasts. Oh my gosh. They're almost as bad as the raps. Alright, view data. Oh, MSI, Monarch Stellar Industries. Huh. Conditions within Stellar Bay. Productivity has continued to improve since relaxing MSI's old restrictions and making allowances for employee benefits such as time off for illness and personal leave. Yeah. I'm not going to read all of it. Um, shit has gotten better since we've been better people. Got it. They need to uh, beef up security. Mm. 
Not much to discover there. Sanjar. That's like the third time I've seen that name. He needs to do his annual self-review, it seems. Alright, that's just outside. This is a vending machine. Okay, so basically it's just these two people for me to really talk to. Let me talk to her first. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. What can I do for you today? I want some tuna. What was that exchange about? You having money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on a rafted on acid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who wouldn't spend all their money on Rapidon acid? Do you normally blow your money on Rapidon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. A squish? Sort of a strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. Right and some of the Hold neighbors the are complaining about the smell. This shall not fall. Thank you very much, Fragged, for the raid. I really appreciate it. Today's my one year anniversary of streaming. I talked about you earlier. I said you're one of my my longest uh, supporters and viewers. All the way from uh, The Hunt, Call of the Wild. When you were trying to teach me how to uh, follow footprints. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing for a little while. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm following the trail. And <laughs> Oh, I really appreciate the raid and you always being around and stuff. I saw you doing some Russian fishing uh, earlier. Was that what you were just doing, streaming just now? Russian fishing. Ah, Maneater. I watched a bit of Maneater. It looks really good. It looks like it might get a little repetitive in late game, but I liked uh, I liked what I saw of it. I liked the humor of it, you know, and uh, how you're slowly evolving. You know, you get you get like different fins and teeth and stuff, and how you can upgrade the time you can be on land, so you kind of bounce on the the beach, you know, and devour people. And, uh, the narrator is, uh, ah, uh, crap, what's his name? I can't think of his name, but he's in Rick and Morty as Jerry, and he was on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, it was, it was fun narration and stuff. Chris, uh, shit, what's his last name? It starts with a P, I think. Yeah, he's a good narrator in that game. He's, it's his kind of humor, too. But yeah, it looked like a good game. I'll probably play that in the future. Let's see. Right now we're just playing Outer Worlds. I'm probably like 22 hours into it. 23 hours into it by now. So I figure I'm I'm past halfway mark. And it's uh, made by Obsidian who did uh, Fallout New Vegas and uh, Pillars of Eternity and stuff. So it's very, uh, very good with story and dialogue. The gameplay is kind of Fallout style. So it's been interesting. They did a good job with this. She apparently is, uh, 
got a crush on this merchant and she's buying up a whole bunch of animal beast body parts in order to impress him because that's what he sells. And so now she's got an apartment full of body parts or something. Let's see, uh... Maybe I can talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Yeah, you can't skip leg day. Let's see, uh... You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> that's uh, all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Oh, she she just likes what she sees is all. Let's talk to this guy who's staring at me intensely. Sanjar. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? My loins are moist. Very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. What is it with this game and tuna factories? They really like tuna. Uh, no, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make I gotta assert like dominance. Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Hmm. I'm just looking for the information burger. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Yeah, I don't want any Saltuna, thanks. It smells awful. Hmm. If I have to eat... One more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fucked colony. I'm going to stab someone. Yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Hmm. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone else. Man, I keep forgetting how to pronounce that. Halcyon, why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. 
Yes, huh. it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. Uh, you can still be free and, and depend on others. Like, not entirely dependent, but like work with others. You know, have allies, you're still free. It's only if you're under someone's thumb, like, you know, you're under, like, actually working for someone else that it would compromise freedom in uh, this regard. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Enough preamble, what's the plan? It's a two-pronged approach. The first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Mm-hmm. I already have it. <laughs> I'm way ahead of them. I did a lot of exploring yesterday. Give him the cartridge. Do you mean this Bolt 52? Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is a data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Like a literal bomb? I hope he doesn't mean a literal... Well, actually, I do hope he drops a literal bomb. I don't like the board. Hmm. Yes. Finally, the board will get its comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. Oh, yeah. I only added that list the other day, Fragged. I was surprised to see I had completed 15 games. Because uh, I streamed 43 games, 44 games this year. And uh, not all of them can be beaten. So I only completed, I only added to that list ones that actually could be beaten and completed. The rest of them were either multiplayer, MMO type games, or games that are open world, open ended with no actual ending to it. Or some games I just walked away from. But, uh... Of those 15, majority of them are pretty short games. Like, they're 10 hours or under to beat and stuff. So, it's not that big of an accomplishment. But I know what you mean. I'm kind of reverse. Before I started streaming, I barely completed games. I would just walk away from them constantly and, you know. Or, like, here's the thing. I've played Skyrim for thousands of hours. Still have not beat Skyrim. I, I will confess it right now. I have not beat Skyrim. I get so lost in side quest and modding the game and doing all sorts of other bizarre crap that I never complete the actual story. And usually I burn out of it or I get enough of it that I walk away when I haven't finished it. <laughs> so that's part of what inspired me to start streaming is like I'm going to start beating games more because once you start them and you have people following along with you, you want to beat them, you know. But you also play a lot of sim type games. So, I mean, I don't blame you if, if you don't have a big completed list because, like, SnowRunner, uh, the Russian Fish, and um, Euro Trucks, Truck Simulators, and stuff, they don't really have hardcore endings, I don't think, right? So, I mean, Maneater does. So, if you finish off Maneater, you can add that to a list. Yeah. We live in an age where there's always a Steam sale. 
or free games and you end up with a catalog of like 600, 700 games and it makes you uh, hop around a lot, you know? When we were kids, you went, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but when I was a kid, at least, I had to go to a video store, pick out a game, bring it home, and you only had it for a few days before you had to return it, and that cost money. So I completed a lot of games as a kid. But yeah, nowadays, it's like we're overloaded, you know? It's like, like you said, complaining we don't have to play. It's like when they started putting hundreds of channels on TV and you, you spent more time flipping channels than watching something. It's because there were so many. Like, I used to sit there and be watching something but think, what if there's something more interesting on another channel and then I'd have to switch it, you know? That's like Steam, you know? I can hop games forever and still have fun. But uh, I've been finishing them more ever since I started streaming them. This lady's looking at me in a creepy way. She knows what I'm talking about, though. She's on board. Let's see. What was she saying? <clears throat> Let's give the board a middle finger. I got that. Uh, I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Mr. Nandi may be correct. If the masses learn that the board disregards their own ordinances, it'd give rise to dissent. MSI could use this information to their advantage. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. What does that mean for me? If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. I need to go see her for another quest anyway. So this works great. Sounds like you know her well enough yourself. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay. And I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. Oh, she's not fun scary like you. Just scary scary. But that's why you'll be equipped to handle her. Yeah, I'd love to meet someone that they think is scary, scary. Hmm. I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? <laughs> Watch it with the you people. Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Like possibly kidnap someone and bring it to me, bring them to me. Infiltrate a secret corporate base. Kidnap the staff. Sure, easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Hmm. I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. <laughs> Did it? Apparently not. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. That's more than anyone can say for those execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? 
I have questions about MSI in the good old days. Good that I keep such meticulous notes. Holy shit. Lots of stuff to ask about. How did MSI get kicked off the board in the first place? I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Hmm. Do you mean that you initiate your own removal from the board? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. But back then, it was known as Terra 1. What happened to the other corporations? As you may have noticed, this planet has more than its share of hazards. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. But not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. And how did that work out? Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions. To reform MSI from the ground up. How forward thinking of you. It's humane. But it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. I hope you'd treat them nice whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being in a community means. Treating people right because it's the right thing to do. Ms. Holcomb is our endlessly optimistic crew hand. It's good for the captain's morale. Mm -hmm. A noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. Using the board's own tools against them, then. Clever. That's what I thought. But the senior executives laughed in our faces and insisted we be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Yet here you are. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. Mm-hmm. But why would they do that? I don't know. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules. And yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Yeah, I don't like the board either. Hmm. Why exactly do you want back on the board? Well, we kind of know that. He needs help, supplies, and stuff. Hmm. Maybe I'll ask, uh, what's the hazard clause? It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. A necessary evil for the greater good of society. That's exactly how the board describes it. I don't really like the vicar too much. I only keep him with me right now because I have a quest for him. He's a little too, uh, brainwashed. Unless he was, uh, not speaking from his own beliefs, perhaps, there. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he grows into be a better companion. And they've invoked it on Monarch? Yes. Making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. You don't seem to think much of Graham. 
He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. I will admit, I am keen to meet their leader. Well, be careful what you wish for. Graham has a habit of ruining everything and everyone around him. We've only met one Iconoclast so far, and she was really, really nice. I don't know if that means anything, but... I can't believe I passed them up. Eager to see where their city is and why I didn't visit it. Let's see, uh... Maybe you should give them a chance. A chance? They've been doing this for years. And I... Well, let's just say I know enough about Graham to be confident that he won't change. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. Hmm. Why exactly do you want to be back on the board? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Working within the established order isn't a principle to snub one's nose at, Captain. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. And being cut off means slow strangulation. That's the thing is, I, I don't want to be an anarchist, but I also would like to destroy the board. I'm sure the game's going to give me a chance to knock down the board, but hope they give me some way of preparing everyone first because <laughs> I don't want everyone to suffer. Let's see. Hmm. They've treated you pretty roughly. Is it worth going back to that? I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Just be careful. The board doesn't mess around. Oh, believe me, I've learned that much. But I'm also not going to leave MSI at a disadvantage. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here. And who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. I want to talk about something else. What can I do for you? I guess that's it. He seems nice enough. And he seems to treat his employees nice enough, which is more that can be said, uh, more than can be said by uh, the other corporations we've encountered. All right. Ooh, it's getting nighttime in this place. Uh, where? Hi. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I get you? I like the trade. If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. <laughs> she probably doesn't have anything I care about. Tumors. Yeah, that's what uh, Phineas, the scientist, eats. Yeah, I don't need any of this right now. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice little town. Help! Someone's been killed! What? I think I'm going to be sick. Pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... 
If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. I'm going. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. You're not going to, like, report it to anybody? We're just going to keep the body there? Where am I at? Okay. I've explored all of this. Except here. All right. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just spoke me was all. Yeah, especially since you can't see it. He doesn't have any loot. Let's see, what killed him? This betting slip, toss ball betting slip, lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field toss ball betting. We saw that. I guess I need to talk to him next to uh, do some detective work. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. So maybe he was trying to get away very quickly. Thanks, Frag. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you again for the raid. Have a good night. Sleep well. And if you do uh, find out how long you've been streaming, let me know. I think you've been around probably a bit longer than me. Okay, nothing else to explore here. I wonder if it's possible that's the sublight dude that stops sending messages. You don't look like sublight. Must be freelance. I'm gonna use your computer. Mr. Nandy, sorry to bother you about this, but something foul is leaking from the apartment upstairs. I don't know what Celia's keeping up there. <laughs> That's all the body parts. Well, she works for you, right? Do you think you could talk to her about it? Isaac, can you please try to keep your windows shut? As I've tried to explain, leaving them open, especially when you've got food out, invites mana swarms. And a mana swarm infestation is everyone's problem. Braxton, I know you keep odd hours. I know because I've heard you coming and going at all times of the day night. Haha. <laughs> but maybe you should try to close your door a little more quietly. I have rather sensitive nerves. And every time I hear your door, I think we're in the middle of <laughs> another Amber Heights. This lady is like the apartment police. We have upstairs. Whatever you do, don't mention toss ball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got him stuck in an hour long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. Okay. So the guy I got killed downstairs is named Isaac. Who was the quest person we needed to talk to? Hmm. I don't know if that's her agent or not. They don't say the name. We'll uh we'll keep that quest focused for now. What's that? That's Inferno Scythe? That looks kinda cool. Alright, pretty empty apartment. Uh, let's 
see. This one's probably Celia's apartment. No, maybe it was the other one. I'm confused. I didn't see any body parts. Dropping a care package off with the Mathers in the old ruins south of Stella Bay. Be back soon. Laura, I know you're reading this. Stay out of my things. The Mathers in the old ruins south. Hello, Laura. Oh, you startle me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? I do what I want. Oh, I don't get to say anything else? Didn't mean to scare you. I'll go. I'm guessing I can talk to her later when I have more, you know, some something for her. Otherwise, they wouldn't have voice acted her that much, I think. So, okay. So that means this is Celia's apartment. I don't see animal body parts everywhere. I think she lied to me. Alright, anyway. We're done with that. What is this place? Is this a bar? Everett. Who's Everett? Did you? Yeah, whatever. Chef, we need to get some uh, casserole or some shit from him. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. You and me both. I saw your face and it was terrifying. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. It seems like the board had plenty enough firepower to just cleanse this planet of danger. Because I, I cleansed the whole western half of this whole planet. Or at least the area we're in, the region. I just shot everything in the face. They can do it too. Just make sure there's no eggs in the caves or anything. That will hatch later. It's not that hard. Hmm. My engineer is looking to get a dust back casserole. Can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back. Before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst. And the mushrooms, well, not many venture out of town, what with the monsters hereabouts. I can whip one up for you. But it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. Huh. Am I saying this to her or to the chef? It looks like I'm saying it to her. I don't want to say that to her. But if this is going to be towards the chef and I talk him down on price, I would love to do it. I'm going to... Oh, man. I'm going to try it. What? No, Captain. I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. That's fine. I can live with that. I'm glad you saw reason. 2,000 bits is much more reasonable. I'm mighty glad you reckon so. This is going to take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. Intimidate. Cook faster. <laughs> there we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? He's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. I see you stuck around. I have more questions. 
Why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than 10 hours long. It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Seems like you'd want more than centimeters. I could do with a few kilometers of cold vacuum, but that spaceship has flown. Ever thought about leaving Stellar Bay? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Why don't you just tell me? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here, no one's going to hire me. That sounds rough. Even talking about it has my blood pressure up. I've really got to stop. All right. Lucky you. Okay. So we, uh, we got a little bit done in that quest. Can I open this without him getting mad? Sure can. Let's see what's upstairs. All these people have these secret treasure troves. Which is really crazy, considering they're all like... I don't know... Stricken with poverty and hopelessness and stuff. I'm not really stealing on this playthrough, which is why I'm passing up all this stuff. I do plan on replaying it someday in the future. And being vicious, crazy thief person. <laughs> okay, nothing this way. We just gotta explore all of this. And then we're done with Stellar Bay for now. Well, they need to fix that. That looks like it's a fire hazard. Who are you? Nobody. Interesting. Got a lot of different ways to go. And that's empty. I exist for some reason. What's up here? Oh, come on. There's a reason for this. Am I supposed to just hop areas and stuff? Maybe it's the only way to get down here? Huh. That might be it. This would be a great place to snipe people. It actually gives us a pretty good view. Must be the uh, a dock over there. Look like horns. Uh let's see what's here. There's a reason these ladders exist. Don't tell me it's just for a gun and a mod.
That seems wasteful. It's not that good of a gun. Get off my ladder. All right. Let's go down here. Up on there. Let's take some fall damage, maybe. There we go. All according to plan. Constables closed. What is this place? Oh yeah, I've been in here before. I just didn't explore it or anything. Yeah, I don't know what this room is. All I could think is that this is uh, some place I'll return later. All right, that's the bar. No, that's the toss ball betting place. That also has an upstairs. And this is a different place. Let me see, have I gone here yet? Did I look over here? Yes, I did. Okay. So I think I'll look upstairs first. Supply room key, huh? Ploy login. Hack that shit. Patient records. Me? I'm a patient? I was about to say. I didn't think I was a patient. Data storage. Experiments. I don't think I'm going to read all this. It's not vital to the story. He's just trying to awaken his, his mind to more realities. He's weird. And this is Williams. What about Edwards? Is he weird too? I guess this is his uh, novel he's writing. All right. Huh. Okay. I'll just hack it. I don't care. That's the joy of being able to hack most things. Where does this lead? If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Wait, wait. Velma's gonna be extra cranky if she doesn't get her cathanoid. Okay, nothing there. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. She what hits on everyone. What did Abigail do for you? Who's Velma? She works over at the fishery next door. Quite the hard worker, but she's got a bit of a temper. A temper? Why, just the other day, I heard her shouting from here. I can't imagine what set her off. Oh, but here I go again, running my mouth when it's none of my business. Was there something else you needed? Are you in charge of handling or handing out medicine? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and energized. You certainly seem excited about your job. Oh, but I am. I get to see plenty of my neighbors here, and I do dearly love a little gossip. Okay, well, whatever. She didn't have much to say. 
let's go check out the toss ball dude. We gotta investigate that body we found. Does she know that her TV's busted? I don't think she's aware. Here to catch Hi, Yanel. I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? I found his bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. <laughs> yeah, what does his teeth have to do with anything? I'd love to know. Actually, I need to say that. Well, no, I'll say I'm listening. I need to hear more about this. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink purple berry punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. I'll teach them a lesson. I'll fuck them up. Okay. Uh, I'm going this direction, right? It sounds like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the saltina smell. Trust me, this is worse. Yeah. Wouldn't mind smelling like saltina if you could smell more of it. Mm hmm. I guess now we're in the factory proper. Does this just lead outside, right? What is that? Another MSI place? Look, I don't... Oh, sorry. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were grim. Mm-hmm. Lots of enemy machines. This is a real big factory. Real big factory. Hey, Velma, I got your cathanoid pills. You're a lifesaver. Hope Abigail didn't give you a hard time. Just the usual. Any word on Braxton? Nothing. I don't know how much longer I can cover for him either. Give me those pills, will you? Here you go. You know, you might consider a real night's sleep instead. <laughs> He's always Velma walking away every time we see him. Long as you her when she's stressed. Hello, Look, Velma. You can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Everybody likes to make an assumption. Everybody in this town, they're all like, they think they know who I am before I even speak. Uh, I kind of want to say three, but I'm not going to. Uh, What are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. 
runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Hmm. Why don't you just pay him more? Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? Depends. I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay, she's being kind of a bitch. Hmm. They're hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve some compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. Why can't you give him his pay increase? We already know this. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Oh man, I need a hunter. Yeah, I need a hunter persuade. Oh, I need to beef up block pick and persuasion. Those are the two. Next time I level. Man, I didn't even get to talk to Caleb yet. Um, man. Are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Okay, let's talk about something else. I'm not going to talk Bye her out of me. it yet. Not until I talk to Caleb and see what he's about. He might not be worth the money. Who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. Something else on your mind? Tell me about your missing coworker. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're not keen on rules for rules' sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Uh, I've been to the apartments. I don't remember seeing Braxton. Is Braxton the one that left a uh, note for Laura? I bet that's what it is. And he went to some drop by the ruins south of the city. I think I know what I gotta do now. You said Braxton had been stealing drugs, which he's selling. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Why didn't you turn him in? We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Okay. 
I'm gonna finish exploring this uh, building and then we'll go back to the apartments quickly. Ooh, actually, this is the only access to the dock. We kind of need to look at the dock real quick, see what's what's up in this area. I think the color scheme or filter they're using looks kind of bizarre. It's like fog and it's all metallic and stuff. I don't know if I approve. weird. What the fuck is this? Stellar Bay Ruins. That's where he's gone. And what the hell is this? Retrieve the missing passcode to what? Which quest was that? This one, huh? Oh, this was Lila's agent. Well, shit. I'm gonna steal that, because I always steal IDs when I can. It's one of the only things I still actually steal. Can I look at... Note, bloody note. It's not gonna let me read it, is it? Ugh. Oh, I can't possibly remember or something like that with a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I suppose uh, only the passcode matters. Okay, we're going to have to come back out to the dock because uh, I'm thinking he's down there. But we need to go talk to his spouse or whatever first. Alright, this is where I came before. So up here, did we explore all of this yet? Nope, there's the computer. The vermin. So many people have that gun. Nah. <clears throat> Let's see. Braxton files are filled with Saltuna breeding charts, various pharmaceutical formula, and musings on why Saltuna seem to prefer boars and beans. Over plain borst worst. Uh huh. The fish in tank 23A are looking a little lumpy. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, he's missed three ships. Ah! Uh... Alright. Go back to the apartments, I hear those rich people in which were somewhere up in this area, right here. What's that smell coming out? Now I need to ask about you again. You've really got to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm scared of crap out of her. We'll ask her about uh, Braxton. But first, why is everyone in this town so jumpy? Jumpy? Who's jumpy? I'm not jumpy. You're pretty jumpy. I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. She's lying. Oh, I get two options here. You've been taking drugs. No! Okay, maybe. Just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the Marauders and the Raptodons outside, you know? So you do know Braxton. Where is he now? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. 
So maybe look for him there? I mean, that's kind of for, if what he's using it for. We're in agreement so... That this Braxton is probably dead, right? Uh-huh. So ruins south of town. Um, I don't know if that's the same ruin thing that uh we saw at the harbor. Am I am I lost? Yeah, I need to be here. I also need to level up my character. Uh, I don't know if it's Let me see. Wait. Yeah, that's a different one. Yeah, that leads out. Skills. Then you get lockpick up higher. Jeez, it's going to take so many levels to get our lockpick high enough for what we need it for. That sucks. Anyway, I do not know what this, this place is. Stellar Bay Ruins, is that... I don't know if that's the same ones that Braxton went to. I don't think so. They said south of town, and this does say south. See, that's where Braxton is. Uh, you know what? Couldn't I just walk through town? Why Why was that other path a, a thing? I don't get it. We'll go after that in a little bit. I want to finish up with the town first. Since we have a lot of things outside of town anyway. What is with those lighting? That's bad decoration there. Alright, so... Uh, which entrance am I at? I'm at this stupid entrance again. Step lightly, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was untied. Would hate we have been in there. Behind, or architect forbid, to become lost. Where did we just... We were just in this place right here. Okay. Uh... We have not gone in here yet. Actually... Yes, we have. It's just the back way of that... What's over there? Is that part of town no one goes anymore? I wonder if I can get back there somehow. There's probably nothing back there. There's a hole in the wall. So there's probably some way to walk back there. That's a yacht club. We have a few things there. Grim. Alright, I need to use the restroom. So I'll be back in one moment. Let's see. I wonder what this place is all about. I bet you Grim's gonna tell us. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Nice eye patch. You seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's always three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off.
What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. <laughs> uh, Captain Kazarus. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. You're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. It is true that this, uh, these people are some of the nicest people I've found in the game so far. Probably, uh, yeah, probably so. Because most people in Emerald Vale were not nice. Groundbreaker were kind of, they're nice, but they're out for profit. The company is pretty horrible in every way. Let's see. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? We know that. Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Ah, the nostalgic stench of home. Can't say I miss the day-to-day -day of living in Edgewater. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. I'm gonna have a look around town. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? He's a pretty nice guy. Pretty cheerful for being named Grim. That depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Shit, man. I gotta revisit her now? Uh, Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest tossball hackers ever. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. Has he been living in a sulfur pit or something? I wonder if he's related to Parati. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, no, Grim and... There's a Grim, though. I'm pretty sure they mentioned the Grim. I think he's in Fallbrook. Let's see, uh... Actually, I've been in hibernation for decades. Oh, you're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. And a lot of spammers today in chat. Probably all over Twitch. It happens. This poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say, I'm just a fan of the game. But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster's been passed around by more than a few people by now. Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. 
Yeah, there's a Graham at Fallbrook we haven't met yet. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Why does he say that? He just signed me in. There's an elevator it leads up. We'll have to check that out. And then let's see what's over here. So far we found two dead bodies in this city. Can we make it three? Okay, we still can't get there. I don't know if you're even supposed to be able to. But it looks like one of these places would lead there. Which they're all locked out. So let's check this elevator. I'm curious, does that just take us to the top of the wall? For nice views or there's something up there? What's up? So this is probably where their uh, ships would land if ships came here. I like that they added stuff like this. Because a lot of games, they would say, like, ships don't come here anymore. And then you'd walk around town, there'd be no places for ships to land, even if ships did come there. And it's like, why did they have it? They didn't even add any. And of course, the reason is, you know, it's inconsequential. But I like that extra little flavor, you know? What is that? Fuck it. It's mine now. No one's come up here in a long time. I can take that. What's this all about? Oh! Did I just... Woo! That's cool! That is pretty nice. I am now docked here. So I can now use their dock. I like that. I wonder if he's going to comment on there being a ship. Probably not. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? Not yet. Keep wondering if it's come in. Keep wondering. Alright. Let's go talk to... S whatever her name is again. Oh, isn't she in here? Yes, Celia. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? <clears throat> what did he say? No, I haven't. Grim asked me to check with you about his tossball poster. You know... Sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. Oh, great. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. We're going to take uh, a tour of the town, apparently. All right. Let's go talk to Velma, who's going to be pissed off. We. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, huh. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do huh. you folks need? I like that. I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to now. That about cover it? You're just giving Grimm's poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. I'm decided I don't like her at all. Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. So it's about the money? Damn right it is. 
You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Uh, I guess I could steal it if I want it. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Hmm. Work with me. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Fine by me. Hmm. Let me talk to Nell. What were you guys doing back there? Talk to Nell and see how much she cares about the poster. If I can remember where the fuck she's at. She over this way? Yes. What up, Nell? Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Velma tells me you outbid Grimm for a signed tossball poster. Signed by the black hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Could I trade you for it? I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine tossball artifact. The black hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. Of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those sublight fellas lost my shipment of official tossball jerseys. I was going to line the walls with them. They're the new ones now with authentic game time aroma. Authentic, as in the players actually sweat in them? Of course not. No, authentic means close enough to be the real thing, but not actually the real thing. Everyone knows that. Anyway, I guess they tried to take a shortcut around Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, I might let Grimm have that poster. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. So I have a lot of options. I could tell Grim probably too bad. I could buy it from Velma. I can steal it from her office. I can browbeat her into giving it to me. Or I can do a quest for now. And I think I'm going to do the quest for now. Because I probably will get more experience through multiple Have quests. But I'm going to talk to him again. I keep wondering if it's come in. Nell's getting the poster. She offered Velma more. That don't seem fair. I was the one who asked for it in the first place. You think maybe you could talk to Velma, see if she won't change her mind? I'll see what I can do. Yeah, we'll uh we'll do that quest for Nell. What are the chances of all the times and places you could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock steals, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting it's a wonderful directorate. Mm-hmm. Who's Bennett? Laws. Can't a man enjoy the smooth menthol flavor of a stogie slim in peace? Nope. They have people like me approach him, talk to him, ask him questions. That's how the world works. You've got a lot of brass for a man doing absolutely nothing. What I am doing, sir, is enjoying the moments. It's so rare that I can seize one apart from the jabbering masses of this wretched place. So essentially what's happening is me interrupting your moment means that all the future moments are even rarer now, which means they're actually better. Because of how rare they are, it's more valuable. I'm doing you a favor. What are you talking about? This law's forgotten town. Cut off from the rest of the colony. Removed from any culture. 
I recall when Stellar Bay was a proper board-affiliated town with regular shipments of Auntie Cleo's best and all the cereals. Before Sanjar took over MSI and got us all booted. Mm-hmm. But now you're all free from the board. Yes, free to wallow and squalor together. Free to squabble with the iconoclasts over a raptodon infested hellhole. Look, you're making me melancholy. Is there something you wanted? See, that's the funny thing, though. If you go to... <clears throat> if you go to the towns that are still under board control, they're just as bad, if not worse, than this. I'm assuming that I can do something later with him because it says there's some you want and that's all I can say is bye. So I'll probably have to talk to him again. We need to talk to both of them. And... There's someone in the bar right now I need to talk to also. Right between the eyes, there were three, no four of them. That rap was this big. Took it down one shot, buy me a drink. These are the restrooms. Yeah, there's someone behind the bar we need to go mess with. And there's also someone drinking here that's skipping work. This is the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is a consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Life is fated and unstoppable. I don't know, Mr. Vicker. That seems like quite a leap. Uh-huh. That's Caleb. Talk to Caleb. He speaks for all of us. Caleb's doing the talking. You gotta go back and push some buttons, Space, pal. Huh? You from off world? Yep. Captain Kazarus of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy your drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. Hmm. What are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. What could be so bad it made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all. Having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Huh. Man, I remember a time when all the persuasions, lies, and intimidates... Could be done easily by me. I'm falling behind. Hmm. How long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. Oh, so I can go steal his bits if I want it, and then he'd have to go back. Eh. If he's telling the truth, though, I think they should negotiate. Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Velma to negotiate? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. Nah, the I didn't. wanted to blackmail her. 
But we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What's this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Wait, if she's taking a cut of the profits but won't give anyone a raise, she deserves, like, anything bad that happens to her. We're going to go look at the warehouse real quick, and then I'll come back and, uh, Talk to the people in the bar. I don't like her anyway. The more I talk to Velma, the more I don't like her. What are they talking about now? Alright. So if it's in here, it's probably in her office. And I think her office was upstairs. But I'm pretty sure we already checked the computer. I didn't see anything about her taking money, right? Ooh, mash random keys. Is this ever going to work? I wonder if you do it enough times, will it work? I'm thinking not. Bypass anyway. Let's check the new one. <sighs> Velma's personal files are a morass of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Careful study of financials reveals that for the past several years, she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. The theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. Sheer volume of currencies, however, indicates deliberate intent. All right, so yeah, she's she's pretty bad. Uh, if she's not willing to. Give them raises, but she's skimming off the top. Wow, I just happened to land up here. Let's blackmail her a bit, because she deserves it. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Can we come to an arrangement? No, I don't want to do that. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. You're about to. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. All right, all right, all right. I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can't, aff uh, you can't afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? Ironic, isn't it? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. That sounds remarkably like Caleb's argument. Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? Okay. I could have um, intimidated her, but I want her to be a better person. I want her to grow. Shoot that guy later, maybe. Let's see. Back out here. What up, Why dude? Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell. Uh-huh. We need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? I'm not going to give him all the information. You've got your pay raise. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. Here, take this as compensation. It ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. Cool. Although, I would have liked to see everyone get a raise, not just the three that push buttons and turn dials. But I don't have that option. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh huh. I think they're watching the same series. So I need to go the to the uh, factory. Are they gonna teleport there, or they're gonna walk their way all the way over there? Actually, I wonder if some of the auto loaders are gonna tell me thanks or anything. I'll be glad to get back to work. All this sitting. Looks like we'll be getting back to work soon. 
I like uh, closure. I want to see them get to work, and I want to see what Velma says, says about it. Why did this guy think I was grim earlier? Wouldn't mind smelling like salt tuna if we could sell more of it. Where does he work anyway? Which place has buttons and dials? Probably over here, all the way in the damn corner. That'd be my guess. He's gonna stand himself right here next to the vodka. Yep, back at work. Job well done. Best get back to work. Don't want to give Velma reason to change her mind. I know she's probably not gonna say anything new, but I give you a friendlier welcome. Nope, nothing new. All right. Now we're going back to the bar for what, the fourth time? There's people behind the bar we need to fight though. Did I talk to you Hello, yet? Stranger. Yeah, I did. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe yeah, he wouldn't talk to me animal? last time. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. But now Celia wants you. Why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Pavati, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta I remember reading that. Display. The manta queen. Isn't that the veil? Gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. It's interesting. I haven't seen him, though. Maybe he's in Fallbrook and not in Stellar Bay? I don't know. They just said he came to Stellar Bay, though. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Yeah, I've killed them. And the Mega Ones. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Oh, great. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Sure, I can keep an eye out for him. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate. The one right here. And head past the abandoned ruins. Which we need Last to go to. The queen I saw was in the wilds out that a ways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there too. Okay, we didn't go on that side yet. Um, about Mr. Pickett. Yeah, you find him yet? No, I haven't moved. Of course I haven't. Hmm? Like what? Uh, well, look what he's uh, selling oh, first. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Wow. Seems like this would be for crafting or something, but it's not. Let's repair all that I have equipped. Talk you look to him like again. A man who's looking for some yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't look like that kind of person. Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. He smited her. Smoked? 
recruit? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. <laughs> uh, don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a, dis a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. I like how she's the one giving relationship advice when she's coming to me for relationship advice because she doesn't know anything. You look like a man who's look. All right, nothing new with him. Got it. All right, so we're gonna have to go talk to Cecil or whatever her name was again. We also gotta go back here, which we've been to before, but we gotta handle these people right here. What up, guys? Elijah, Thug, Berta, Thug. Hey, Berta. The fuck are you? This ain't your alley. It is now. Hey, what up, Elijah? What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Okay. This is such a small town, there's no such thing as a secret alley. Everybody has wandered around this. And I don't know if you've noticed in the 24, 25 hours I've been playing this game, but there's no children in any town. Because my first thought is children would have found all the alleyways and stuff by now. I don't think I've seen any kids. There's no kids in the world. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. I do now. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? You've bullied people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. So I gotta talk to Sanja and Susa. C Cecil or Sela or what the fuck her name is. And they're both in the same place at least. And they're both right here. Celia. Why couldn't I remember her name? Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? I told him you liked his legs. Nah. He said he'll go on a date with you. Okay. But how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. <laughs> uh... He likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. Hi. Thank you, again, for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? It was Elijah and his hooligan friends. I ran them out of town. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. If you say so. It really was on my to-do list. Still, I thought I read his to-do list. I didn't see that. Is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. If he would have been, if he would have dealt with them earlier, they wouldn't be a dead Isaac. I'm at Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? <laughs> 
He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? And that's it. That is a weird helmet I gave him. That's Vicar. <laughs> All right, are we? No, we still gotta talk to the two people in the town, in the in the bar. Wait a minute, where the hell am I? This way, right? No, no. Uh, this way. Yeah. All right, McGuire. Haven't even heard of him. Why is this place called the Yacht Club? But it had a fancy ring to it. Name's the first advertising anyone sees, after all. Are there any yachts in Stellar Bay? Nope. But a man can dream. This is like Mr. Clean with the, the villain mustache. You said you're not used to seeing new faces around here. Not since Amber Heights. These days we have more leaving than coming. Off to join the Iconoclasts or some such. What happened in Amber Heights? Bunch of marauders broke into the executive compound, slaughtered everyone. Corporations pulled out of Monarch not long after. I thought everyone knew. But then that was ten years ago. Still feels fresh to us every time we look at our walls, though. How well do you know Nioka? Anyone who spends any amount of time in this bar is bound to get to know Nioka. On account of her being here so often herself. And I don't mean that unkindly. Anyone who's rid us of as many beasts as you have is entitled to a few drinks. Okay. So now we talk to her. And that was for uh, this quest right here. And a main quest. I'll let her have her drink more first, of course. It's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. Keep listening. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. Who is from around here? Who are you? <laughs> She's very, very drunk. I'm Kazarus. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Hmm. I kind of want to see how far this goes. Sure. Another round, bartender. Outstanding. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? I'm told you can help me find the information broker. Well, 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 well. Well, 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 well. Let's get down the brass nuts then, shall we? Brass. Wait. That ain't it. Brass rats. Let's let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. I don't know whether I want her as escort or not. Yeah, let's go with it. Sure. What do you need? Out. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Hmm... You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. 
We got a deal or what? I'll probably have one, right? All right, I'll be back. All right, where's that at? Over here. Maybe she becomes a companion. Hello again. Huh. It's me, Sweet Cheeks. I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Oh, great. If I say it's for Nioka, she's not going to want to give it to me. I'm going to lie to her. Actually, it pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little Shit. trade we get... Backfired. I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stella Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? Don't make me steal him. For you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Nioka. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Ah. <sighs> All of these are going to lead to a different quest, right? Um, there must be some way I can increase N Nioka's allotment. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I can, or I can just steal them, or I can do a number of things, probably. Wow, so yeah, I can do a whole lot of different things here. Hmm. I wonder if I can talk Dr. Williams into it. Where can I find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. I could have, uh, talked her into it right then and solved it. I know it. But without even the intimidation, I could use the top option. But I never met Dr. Williams, so I wanted a guide to him anyway. Uh, the Flower of Enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The uh, Vicar knows about the it. Southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Search his body. Wow, they still give me an option. Eh. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You ought to be. Or you sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Forgetful fellow, eh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. All right. <clears throat> Chin up, dearie. So I think we've done everything in town. Just about everything we need now is right outside in the uh, south of town, and some of it's in. Uh, Although, actually, we have things to do all over the place outside outside of uh, the city. But I'm not going to do it now. I think I'm going to go out here. And I'm going to uh, end it for today. It's only been a couple hours, but I did stream about an hour earlier. So it's been a little over three hours today. 
and uh, I gotta work early, early tomorrow, and uh, so I won't be streaming this tomorrow either. So what I'll do? Ooh, almost twenty-five hours. Uh, what I'll do is I'll end it now, take tomorrow off. Um, Friday. Wait, it's tomorrow Friday. What's today? Shit. Okay, tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> this is how backwards I am right now. So I'm taking tomorrow off for work. And, uh, on Friday, I think we're going to stream 8.30 Central Time and, uh, play some Divinity. So I won't be getting back to this till probably Saturday, I think. But we have, uh, and yeah, I am enjoying this game, uh, Starbane. It's the, the exploration parts where it's repetitively having to fight the same beast over and over that gets to me. Yesterday I was getting annoyed with this area. But I think we won't check every corner per se. I need to check this area because there's something there. We need to go here. Um, there's the town places we need to go for quests. There's a ton of stuff to do up in here. So we'll we'll pick that up uh, uh, again on Saturday. Um, and like I said, Friday's Divinity. We're actually going to try to uh, push Divinity a bit because uh, we've been playing that for like three months. And we want to, uh, we love the game, but we want to beat it. <laughs> we want to move on to other stuff. I think we're done with Raft for now until uh, probably until a big, big update or its release. Uh, whichever one comes first. Um, and then we'll probably try Raft again. And uh, once we beat this game, there's a few other things I might jump into. Either Plague Tale Innocence or... Um, let me think. Let me see. What I, what I have in mind. Either Plague Tale Innocence, Observation, or... Uh, the Flame in the Flood, which is kind of like a exploration crafty game, survival game, I think. And uh, I want to say there was something else I was looking at. I think uh, Deliver Us the Moon and State of Mind, those games. They're, they're really short story games. So that will take the place of Outer Worlds when we beat Outer Worlds. And uh, when we beat Divinity... We're probably going to take a break from multiplayer. And then after a short break, we'll probably hop into some other co-op game. We just haven't decided on what yet. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys Friday night. Um, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. Uh, thanks for everybody that was here for my one-year streaming anniversary. Um, I'll be uploading everything up on YouTube soon. And uh, have a good night, everyone.